Hi right, guys, Toby here for TP23 Productions. Now, GTA Online was getting me a bit down and I thought I'd pick myself up and I'd cheer myself up like and I thought the like, perfect thing to cheer me up would be Fast and Furious 6. On Blu-ray nevertheless, so you get a shitload more extras than the normal DVD. So, uh, But yeah guys, quick review of Fast and Furious 6. I already thought I did a review of this, but apparently I haven't. So Here we go. Fast and Furious 6, it's set in London. Of course it's got Vin Diesel, Paul Walker, it's got Dwayne the Rock Johnson in it. You've got Michelle Rodriguez, she's back. You've got practically all the cast apart from the two Spanish guys who like to gamble an awful lot. Like Ludacris, you got him back. Tyrese Gibson. Uh, Han, you got him back. Uh, Giselle, obviously it's not their real names, their character names. But yeah guys, it's uh, you're back with practically the original cast with uh, a few recently added members and they're after uh, one guy, Owen Shaw and uh, apparently this guy Owen Shaw who is being tracked by Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Gina Carano apparently this guy's gone all over Europe, all over the different continents robbing banks and whatever he can get his hands on really and of course Dwayne needs Vin Diesel and his crew to help him to capture Owen Shaw and uh, yeah, his story Personally, I think it's a pretty good story. It makes sense, it's good ideas, you know, it's uh, it's a big heist. Owen Shaw's kicking ass across the continents, taking money, and of course Dwayne The Rock Johnson needs a decent crew, like Vin Diesel and all his mates, to uh, capture him. And it makes sense, really. However, Fast and Furious 6 is set in London, which is pretty good. I like it because it's the London effect, uh, but yeah, London's used in Fast and Furious 6, however you do go to other different areas around the world. You've, you go to Spain, you've gone to Russia, uh, Tenerife I think, that's used as well. Um, but yeah, they, you go to different places, but the core of the film is kind of set in London, which is good. It's good to finally bring it over to London and the UK, uh, it's good to finally do that. I've been a fan of all the Fast and Furious films. And it's good that they've finally brought it over in number six. I don't know, maybe because it has got that London it factor and that extra bit of spice, maybe that is a reason as why I like the film just that bit more. Maybe it is because it's set in London. I mean, I've never been to London, but you can you can see all the London icons, really. You know, they go, uh, they go driving through Wembley. Well, not really through it, but around it. And you've got Piccadilly Circus. They're in the, I think they're actually based in the Shard, which is pretty cool because there's no other bigger buildings around their HQ almost. So maybe they're in the Shard. It's pretty cool if they've used that. But yeah, they're, they're in the home country. Yeah, in my home country, which is pretty cool that they're finally in there. And uh, yeah, maybe that adds a little effect. But of course, Fast and Furious wouldn't be Fast and Furious without the awesome cars. Yeah, pretty much every scene there's an awesome car in it. Going fast, being driven by Paul Walker. Uh, Vin Diesel, uh, Michelle Rodriguez, and even The Rock has a kick-ass vehicle in this film. But you can't leave out the bad guy. He's got a certainly interesting vehicle. Um, I can't remember if they call it the Flipper or something, but it's got a flipping action and it uh, derails any car, really, that's coming into contact. There's gunfire, so there's a good storyline behind it. The odd twist and turn, which... I don't know, even from the very start when Michelle Rodriguez popped her head up, it was a bit of a turn because you had it in Fast 5. Uh, but even so, the fact that Michelle Rodriguez is now in Fast 6, bit of a twist and turn. Uh, it was pretty cool, really. You know, Letty's back, which is good. One downside is, which you've probably seen on the internet, the runway. The runway in Fast and Furious 6 is massive. A uh, bit of a piss take, really. You know, what was going through the director's mind when... Uh, they thought of that shot of a massive runway that seemed to stretch across the whole of Europe rather than just Spain. But apart from that slightly unrealistic thing, you know, the, the Fast and Furious film is amazing. I love it in all honesty. I think it's a great film, great addition to the series. Can't wait for Fast 7. Uh, I love all the Fast and Furious films. If you're a fan of the previous films that they've done, then you'll enjoy it, you'll love it. Go out and get it if you haven't already. Um, if you like Vin Diesel, definitely pick this up. Paul Walker, you're a fan of him, pick it up. Michelle Rodriguez, The Rock as well. Dwayne, he hasn't done too many films, but this is one of his best ones. He plays a great Hobbs character. 
and uh, yeah he chases down Vin Diesel and his crew very well but yeah guys Fast and Furious 6 love it it's a great film if you were a fan of the previous Fast and Furious films then go out and get it definitely worth watching um, can't recommend it enough really also guys we that have voted the promo code always wearing the gear great stuff links down below promo code as well get you 20% off don't forget we did the voted but yeah guys hope you like my uh, review of Fast and Furious cannot recommend it enough please guys go and get it awesome film thanks for watching hope you enjoyed my review don't forget 20% off thanks for watching guys I'm sure I've done a review. Of course, it's got Vin Diesel. Yeah. <laughs>